the circle of light. The circle of light is you and me. It's where we can feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows can fall away. We question our thoughts, we change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are. Good morning for those of you that are watching this later. My name is uh, Bernadette Petrie, the Soul's Life Coach and creator of The Barefoot Sanctuary. In a few moments time, um, we'll be starting the Circle of Light Meditation and Healing Circle. So as I wait for people to join in, this is, in case you're watching it later, this is what it's all about. The session will take an hour. Um, if you're going to watch it, I would recommend you do so for the full hour or leave it to another time when you can. And you will need pen and paper, a comfy place, a quiet place, and ideally playing it through your headphones will probably make more sense and go uh, deeper in. Number one, remember this, your gremlins don't live in music. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got that totally wrong. Your gremlins don't live in nature. I saw your comment, Fiona, <laughs> lovely music. Your gremlins don't live in nature. And whilst we are staying indoors, we can stare at the birds, we can step out into the garden. If we're lucky enough, we can walk a short distance and get our exercise. But either way, tune into some sort of nature and focus on that and focus on your breathing. Number two, don't waste energy on self-doubt, okay? Right now we have a lot of energy that is needed to do our own healing work. Let's not waste any of it on self-doubt because it takes energy to do that. The mission is not to impress but to express. Hmm. The mission is not to impress, but to express. And that's what this journey is about, guys, us expressing who we, we are, not trying to impress people who we think we need to be. It's a good one for me today. Four, nothing in this life is permanent. So right now, the way that we're all living, it's not permanent, it's going to pass. But when it does, we will be different people. Nothing in this life is permanent. So whatever it is, any particular thing that's concerning you right now, flash forward 10, 15, 20 years, and you'll look back at it with a whole different perspective if you stay present with it now. Finally, don't be afraid of who you are. <laughs> oh, lovely dog. You had <laughs> Yeah, and you, Dawn, my sister-in-law, does a beautiful, I'm going to shout out here to Guddlebox, look her up, Guddlebox. She makes beautiful art with um, stones and pebbles and things from nature. So this one is, don't be afraid of who you are. That's where our problems come from, we're afraid of our own light. Now is this time when we're inside for us to revisit our light and get comfortable with who we are. Okay, so... I'm gonna let the music play, I think it's gonna be okay. Um, so I just need to make sure that it's all going to play continually without having to keep going back to it because I don't wanna to have to do that. Okay, so welcome. Find humility, be aware of ego and the damage it can do. <gasps> nice, Patricia. Yeah, be aware of the ego and the damage it can do. And actually on that, often we think that our ego is the thing that tries to get us to do things, but also our ego can, is the voice that tries to keep us small. Um, so yes, find your humility, but also don't for one minute underestimate your divinity and your ego will try and keep that from you. Kirsty Robertson, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay guys, so hopefully that is everybody here. So welcome, welcome. I'll read the five cards out again and then we will get started. Don't be afraid of who you are. Nothing in this life is permanent. 
The mission is not to impress, but to express. Your gremlins don't live in nature, and nature is your true sense. It's inside you, it's everything. Nature is the godling in you. Don't waste energy on self-doubt, and don't be afraid of who you are. I read them all. Nothing in this life is permanent. So if any one of those cards, and I'll share them on the feed later, um, if any one of those cards makes sense, then just use it as an anchor for uh, the meditation. My beautiful cousin Anne McNichol is watching. Oh, good morning, Anne, in Northern Ireland. Uh, sending you love, and I've loved listening to your guitar playing every day. The musician is in the house. Okay, guys, so I'll just pause this just now. Okay, so make sure you're comfortable. We're going to be here until half past 11, as I say. Make sure you're undisturbed. Hopefully you will have seen the notes to have a pen and paper with you. If you don't, just grab it now. Uh, just get yourself a pen and paper. If you had colouring pens, hello, sweetheart. If you had colouring pens, that's great too. Just get hold of those. Um, and shortly I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, so the format's just a lot the same as last week, but this week um, I'm going to introduce a little, a little bit of art work that you can then that you'll start now. But you will, I'll ask, I'm going to ask you to set it down, and you can use later today or tomorrow or the coming coming days to use that as your meditation time and to let your inner child um, take play with that. So the purpose of the circle of light healing meditation session is to, for you to go back and find a part of you that is stuck in the past that is not aware of the present moment ability that you have the present your your whole totality and she's stuck in the past and she needs you um, to bring her back into you it's not about going and you know finding ourselves it's about redisc bringing back parts of us that have been left behind and that can be from the tiniest little thing in our lives it doesn't have to be a big traumatic thing but the tiny little thing if any feeling has not been able to be expressed in our childhood at a particular time we shove it down and that causes a block and that stops part of us expressing who we are so if you've been told you know if you've misunderstood something it might have made you stop singing or creating art or speaking up or I don't know any sort of thing about you as a kid when you were little that you used to do freely without inhibition has can be curtailed in a tiny misunderstanding of life so that's what we're trying to get oh we've got Fiona McFadgen in Adelaide Australia oh be still my heart hello my darling and Jen Rutherford is watching hello hello gosh what an amazing circle of women we have here this is so powerful um, just incredible so just oh sending you all love and just feel that energy moving around from one side of the country to the other from one side of the world to the other and we're all here together in this moment in time it is really really powerful okay so hopefully it's to say you've got your pen and your paper you're comfortable you're not going to get disturbed uh, somebody said last week they really wish they'd put it on in headphones um, into their ears so if you can do that do that because that will maybe when you go into the meditation that will help you will have your eyes closed I will be closing my eyes soon so you won't be watching me you'll be listening to me and you'll be listening hopefully the music will be able to feed through as well okay so now it's time for you to close your eyes take a deep breath this next 40 minutes or so is your journey, your time. The circle of light is you and me. It's where we can feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows can fall away. We question our thoughts and we change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are. Now, in order to clear our energy field and in order to really connect with our inner wisdom 
and our inner journey. I want you now to, if you have it, pick up your plain piece of paper. I have a pad here. I want you to pick that up. And I want you to pick up a marker pen. And if you need to grab something just now, just do, but somewhere you'll have a pen and a paper. And I want you to think about everything that's been triggered and coming up and bubbling up and people and all of these things. Uh, you know, any feelings, any emotions that you've experienced over the last few days that just feel like, you know, the opposite of joyful, the opposite of loving. I want you to tune into those feelings now and I want you to get your pen and you're just going to scribble all over the paper. So I'll go first so that you can see what I mean. This is the bit where you can watch. all the yuck okay so give it a go yourself now take a deep breath and I'm gonna to have to sorry guys I realize I haven't put do not disturb on so I'll do that and scribble all of that yuck onto your pad just let it pour out onto your pad good morning Karen Taylor I don't know when you just tuned in I want you to grab a pad get a pen scribble all that dense energy onto a pad any anger any frustration any emotions that you have right now about this situation or stuff that's been triggered from the past just get a pen scribble it all onto a pad just like that and pay attention to how you feel afterwards <sighs> good morning good morning and then what I invite you to do is I have a, a bunch of pens here. So if you have some pens handy or coloring pencils, and if you haven't got this, don't worry. Do it later. Do it later. Just tune into the, the rest of it. But what I'm going to show you is how we can start to transmute and change that feeling of yuck, the shame, the shadow, the frustration, the disappointment, the jealousy, whatever emotions have popped up for you. Those are just some that have popped up for me. And just allow yourself to let time pass and that negativity start to transmute. And I'll show you again. Okay. So I don't want to go into it too much more, but as you see, I'm starting to color and transform the yuck. <laughs> Very simple. I think my mum actually used to do this years and years ago when I was maybe annoying her. She would just scribble all over a piece of paper, hand me some pens and say, color that in there. So she let out her frustration and I was able to transform it and make a piece of art. And this is one I've just finished that I've been doing. And I'm sticking them up on the window so people can see them as they pass by. And we get the stained glass window and the people outside are getting some color. And what I want you to realize, and that's why I want you to finish this later, is that your inner child can lead the way. And the, the part of you that we connect to during this session that's the part that will freely color in and just want to do it gradually and beautifully and have fun with it. And I actually wrote some messages in there too from the card. So I wrote in some messages and some positive words. And again, it's just putting that energy and um, creating it. And so it shows you, uh, oh, perfect Karen, yeah, do, I'll be recording it. So do tune in later. If you can't stay for the full thing, guys, I would totally recommend I send you off with love then you can listen to the recording because we're in a moment we're not going to have any interaction we're going to go deep um 
so yeah this is the darkness the yuck but what we realize is that without this we can't express and create our whole beautiful selves so this is why the circle of light is about realizing the importance and the necessity of our shadow of our dark and not trying to positive our way out of it we have to feel who we are we have to own who we are and from that we transform and we create something beautiful and that will be replicate it in our behavior out in the world later okay so set that aside if you're furiously coloring in set it aside just now pause it that will be there for you to do later and it's a great way for you to come back into the energy that you experienced in the circle okay so what we're going to do now i'm going to ask you three questions and again this is an additional clearing um, of energy before we go in and go on our, our meditative journey. And we did these questions, we've done them a couple of times now, but people's different names will come up from before. So if you've got a pen and paper, one that you're not gonna keep, so don't worry about it, it's gonna be one that you throw away. Um, just like a scrappy piece of paper. I want you to write down the answer to these three questions. Write down on the paper the labels that you use to describe yourself. Any labels whatsoever that you've referred to in the last 24 hours, the last seven days, your job descriptions, all of them. Write down all of the labels and the adjectives that you use to describe yourself. Write them all down. Now question number two. And no one is with you, remember, and no one will ever see this. Write down the name of something that you're still ashamed of. If there's anything that pops up to your mind, just write down something that you still might be carrying shame about. And number three, I want you to write down the name or names of someone that you still blame for something in your life or to do with your uh, parents' life. Um, write down the name or names of someone that you still blame for some part of your life. Okay, and now I want you to take that and rip it up. And just rip it up. It's out of you. It's no longer using up any of your energy. It's gone. All those labels are gone. You can't be limited by any of them, tied to any of them. They're gone. And so I'm gonna just dump this here and if you want to burn it, you're safe at home, burn it, put it in the bin, whatever you feel like doing, it's time to do. Okay, now we're gonna go on a journey and we're going to go on a journey I'm having problems with my music. I don't know why I'm having problems with my music. I'm being too impatient. Let's see what happens. But so now, whilst I get during the time I get this ready, just get yourself fully comfortable. This is the point where you can lie down 
or you can sit comfortably but with your eyes closed. There's no need now for any of you to comment. I just maybe just want to check if someone can let me know thumbs up if the sign's okay. And ideally now you are either lying back or sitting fully comfortable in a way that you can sit for the next 35 minutes. Thank you guys. And just feel, start to connect with your body and tune in to where in your body you can feel tension. So close your eyes down now and close your mind down. I'll only open them occasionally if I need to read something. Perfect. And immediately as I close my eyes, I can feel the tension in my body because I'm bringing my attention in. So what I invite you to do is to really focus on your belly just now, first of all. Take a deep breath in from your belly. And let it go out through your mouth. And again, this whole part of our body where we've been so shamed, God, we've been so shamed about our bellies for years and years. All those women that wore corsets and everybody trying to have this perfectly flat tummy. And oh my goodness, we're starving ourselves for our breath. So really like a baby, like your little young self, I want you to breathe in always through this session. If you can, try and breathe in through your belly and let it relax. So take another deep breath. And breathe out. And as we go through this session, you'll be breathing in and out through your belly in the entirety, if you can. So pay attention to how your body feels. And now I want you to bring your attention to your, your feet your beautiful toes, the soles of your feet. And I want you to imagine that there's a warm, warm light coming in around your feet. Feel that light move through your toes, the soles of your feet, your ankles, the fronts of your legs, the backs of your legs, your knees, your thighs, into your uterus, into all of your organs. Feel that light moving up into your chest. Take a deep breath again through your belly and allow the chair, the floor, whatever you're lying or sitting on to hold you. Surrender to this moment of journeying back to find the part of yourself that needs your love that needs your unconditional love. That is essential for the woman that you came here to be. So take a deep breath in again. Feel that light moving up into your heart. Maybe put your hands on your heart. Feel how much work it does keeping you alive keeping you on this planet. And in this moment, remember everybody that is out there in the front line, the people serving food, stacking food, making food, picking food, the people in the hospitals, the people cleaning, the people in the buses, all of the things that we've taken so much for granted all of those people are really out there in the front line. The police, the teachers, all of our politicians, everybody who's working round the clock in any capacity to help deal with this incredible situation. We feel them in our hearts now. And now we let that light move up we feel it in our neck, we feel it on our lips, we feel it on our cheeks, on our nose, on our eyes, on our forehead, we feel that beautiful light above our head and it's as if someone has just suddenly surrounded your body with this ball, 
this beautiful golden ball, this healing ball of light. And you feel safe to be who you are. And you remember that you are divine being, a particle of God, here on a human adventure. And not one part of you has ever been imperfect. So I want you to allow yourself now in this circle to imagine us all sitting together in a beautiful glade. You can smell the grass, you can feel the sunshine. And all of us together in this quantum reality are together in a circle. We may be in different rooms all over the country and all over the world, but in this quantum circle we sit. And I want you to feel the love and acceptance that you have for all of these women sitting alongside of you in this circle. And I want you to receive that love and acceptance that you so willingly give. I want you to receive it from these incredible women in this circle too. And all beings who have joined us in this circle receive and feel their love because you are worthy of it. And allow the circle to hold you. And now I'm going to invite you all, each and every one of you, to step out of the circle. And in a moment or two, we're going to go individually to our own inner sanctuary. And for those of you that have done this before, you're fully aware of what I mean. But for those that have joined for the very first time, your own sanctuary, your own barefoot sanctuary is deep inside of you. It has always been there. And inside of your mind, you have created and designed and built the most beautiful space, this beautiful building for you to go to in times just like this, for you to go and heal and receive messages of love and to listen and tune in to all the parts of you. So in a moment or two, I'm going to invite you to imagine that you're stepping out of your body in this circle, in this beautiful glade that we're in together. And as you step out of it, I want you to turn back and look at your human body and give thanks to her exactly as she is right now. Not who she will become or not who she was, but who she is right now for bringing you into this circle. And maybe put your hands on her cheek, kiss her on the forehead, and feel how she feels your acceptance and how powerful it is for you to send love to you in the way that you so willingly send it out to those that are in your lives, in your close family circle. And now I want you all to turn and face away from your body and in front of you now, collectively we'll all see an archway, an archway individually for all of us. And I invite you to step towards that archway. And when you step through in a few minutes or a few seconds time, when you step through that archway, I want you to imagine you're stepping in yet again to another quantum reality, a place where just you are, but you feel safe to go there alone. You know that everyone in the circle is making their own journey. So energetically squeeze each other's hands, knowing that you will return to the circle again shortly. 
and step in to the archway and into your own individual reality. And as you step out of the archway, your feet connect with the earth in a whole new way. Everything is still and quiet. And then as you take a step forward, you start to hear the sounds of nature all around you. And somehow you feel totally safe totally certain that this is where you're meant to be and you keep walking step after step into this beautiful paradigm and I want you to imagine that a path appears before you a very obvious path in this beautiful scene in nature that is leading to a building a beautiful building made by you and has been waiting for you your entire life. Small, adequate space, almost like a TARDIS from the outside. A TARDIS in size. And so pay attention to how this building looks. I always seem to only notice the entrance, the door, everything else is kind of invisible. So as we step forwards, imagine you're placing your hand on the handle of your own inner sanctuary and allow yourself to push the door open and gently close the door behind you. No one else can go here. And immediately the smell that greets you is so familiar and so comforting. It reminds you of all the things in your childhood, all those moments in time where you felt loved and safe. And it reminds you of where you came from before this earth. That knowing, that knowing that you are a being of light. And allow yourself now to step into the circle the center of your sanctuary. And whatever you find there is perfect for you, whether it's a chair or a bed or something comfortable for you now to sit down on. I want you to sit down there. And now you are safe to feel any emotions that have bubbled up since we started on this journey, or any emotions that are still lingering from before. And to help you, I want you to imagine now that there's a treasure box has appeared in front of you. And this little box holds some clues for you. It holds some clues from your past. So I want you to Open the lid of the treasure box and inside something from your past will have emerged. Something you collected or won or gained, a gift you were given, a memento, something that is speaking to you now. And just allow yourself to hold it in your hand. And as you hold it in your hand, the image of who you were at that time comes flooding back. You can see her, you can see what she's wearing. You can feel all that she feels. And it's so incredible to see her again. How young she is, how innocent she is. and pay attention to everything that you can feel from her. And reach her, your hands out to her 
and invite her to sit with you in your sanctuary. And once again, put your hands on her face. Maybe kiss her forehead. She knows who you are. She has been waiting for you for such a long time. Allow all of her emotions to surface through your body. Allow yourself to feel them. This part of you that was shut down, this part of you that had has a part to play in who you're going to be going forward. Tell her that you will never abandon her again. Tell her that you have brought her into the present moment and you want her to come back into your life. Feel her pain. And heal her pain. By feeling it. And now I want you to become aware of this incredible loving presence that has moved into the center of your sanctuary with you both. This beautiful ball of light in human form that is your eternal self. The part of you that knows everything that ever will be. The part of you that came, the part of you that will leave. Together with you and this part of your past, you are all reunited. And allow her loving presence and her energy to touch you both. Feel her kiss your forehead and the forehead of the part of you from the past. Look into each other's eyes. Promising not to abandon each other again. Mm. And together the three of you hold each other so beautifully. The love that you feel from each other and that you receive and that you give and this beautiful triangle of love. Allow it now to curse through every single cell of your body. Pay attention to the beauty of who you are and who you wear and who you will be. You are seeing your past, you are seeing your future. You are seeing you through eyes of the divine. You are seeing your past through eyes of wonder. And as all of that comes through your body, feel all the colors of the rainbow from the top of your hair all the way down to the tips of your feet. And imagine rays of unconditional love coming down through you into this sanctuary, washing away all the shame, all the misunderstandings. And pay attention to the energy of that part of you from the past that you have found. Who was she? What message has she got for you? Feel her enthusiasm, her desire to make a mark. And let it absorb into your heart as she steps and comes willingly back into your heart. 
out of the shadow, out of the past, into your heart right now. Take a deep breath and feel the magnitude of bringing part of yourself back home. And also now step forward and look into the eyes of your divine self and allow her once again to step into your heart and to see yourself through her eyes. See yourself in your century, looking at your hands, your feet, your body. Feel a new energy returning. Breathe it all in. And now you are standing alone in your century once again, but every single cell in your body is vibrating. And it is time for you to leave. Time for you to return back to that circle of other incredible souls. Look around your beautiful century, take in all the detail. Move your body, stretch it out as you begin to leave. Maybe there's a clearing in the center where you can dance and become aware of the strength and vigor of your body that has returned from your past, from your youthful days. Own who you are. Do not be afraid of who you were and who you will be. Hmm. Now I invite you to ask you to leave your century. So put your hand on the door, looking back one last time, knowing you can return here any time you choose. And you can go back and do this healing work at any time you choose. But for now, the circle needs you. So step out of the door and close it behind you. And as you step onto the ground, you feel a confidence and a strength surging through your body. Almost start to skip and run towards your destiny, towards your future, towards now. And you find yourself once again at the archway and you look behind into this part of you and you remember you can come here once again at any time. And with courage and an open heart, you step back through the archway and suddenly we are all standing in a circle once again together. And we take each other by the hands And we feel how we have grown, how we have healed. We feel how we are connected. And we look all the way around the circle and we feel the transformation. We feel our strength. We own our divinity. We feel our humanness and it is okay. And we are all different shapes and sizes. And we are all in different corners of the world. But in this paradigm, we are standing hand by hand in this circle of light together. And as we do, we send love from this powerful force of consciousness that we have reawakened to. We send it out beyond the circle out into the world, over our towns, our counties, our countries, all the way until the entire world is covered and sealed in our circle of love and light. And it's as if we are all hovering above the earth together, 
healing, creating, transforming the new world that will awake us, waiten, await us after this period is over. And now we find our bodies returning back, standing on that grass together, holding each other's hands. We feel and receive the love, the love that we send, we also receive one by one around the circle. And we forever remember this moment in time when we collectively came together and healed our hearts, our minds. And now let go of each other's hands. Stand with your feet connected to the earth with your arms beside you. And be ready to step in to the archway. From one archway to the other archway so that you're now standing in front of that human that you are in your own houses. And you feel yourself turning around and sitting back into your body or lying down into your body. Oh, and you feel that incredible sense of love and acceptance cursing through your veins. And in this moment, I invite you to wrap your arms around this human that you are. And thank her for having the courage to join this circle. And thank her for all that she's willing to feel. And very gradually, I invite you to start to wriggle your fingertips and wriggle your toes. Maybe stretch your arms up above your head. I'm opening my eyes. I'm seeing you all in my mind's eye, each of you in your homes. And another part of you has come home. And that will make all the difference. I thank you so much for giving yourself the gift of this time and for giving me the gift of your presence. I see so many names up here of women that I love so dearly. We have all made me the woman I am today. Thank you so very much, guys. And if you missed any of this, please, please make the time later when I put it up for you to take part in the whole thing again. This work is so important to ourselves and for everybody that we love and care for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mmm. Wow. So if anyone has any questions that they want to ask, oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. I'm glad that we got the music to play in. Facebook didn't kick me off. If any of you wants to know the name of the artist um, that I've been playing, most of that has been um, soul balance or yoga meditation. And... Um, I'm actually going to play this one just as we finish out because this is one that normally finishes our circle and this is by the most incredible band. I play her music a lot, Bliss. Uh, look up Bliss. Their music is incredible. It is so healing. It is so powerful. You can get it on uh, YouTube. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm so glad it was so powerful. 
if any of you are willing to share the age of the person that you brought back that was stuck in the past, I would love to hear it. Um, last week for me, yeah, I was 10. It was my part of my 10 year old self that I brought back. This week she was 17. Um, some of you knew me when I was 17. And this week that was the part that I needed to bring back that I didn't realize I had left a part of her in the past. So if any of you do are willing to share just the age of, just write the age that you wear, that would be incredible. If there's anybody, anybody wants to put any comments in, please do so. Oh, Fiona McFadgen. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> and I'm just gonna finish by reading the cards out that we read again at the beginning. 19, 19 years old, stood in a long plink, pink dyed dress. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh, Dawn, you were five, how beautiful. Wow, 21. <laughs> I was in my school uniform. 13 years old, Kirsty, how beautiful. 10 years old. Wow, guys. 29. Oh my goodness. This is incredible work. Incredible. The cards again are, the mission is not to impress, but to express. Your gremlins don't live in nature. Don't waste energy on self-doubt. Don't be afraid of who you are. Nothing in this life is permanent. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so, so much. For those that know, I think so, a lot of you do know, but tomorrow I actually am going under the knife. I'm having a little procedure on my lovely right boob. I'm very blessed to be getting it done quickly. So I, uh, that 17 year old really hated her boobs. <laughs> she thought they were, she didn't have any. And I was so dissatisfied with my chest at that time. So it feels very appropriate that she's now home and in my heart as I go through this, this procedure. So you were eight. Oh my gosh, Patricia, that is beautiful. Wow, wow. So, um, so if you could send me your love and send the surgeons and surround him with that circle as he cuts into my body tomorrow, that would be incredible. I feel incredibly protected. I know that this is part of my spiritual path. And yeah, I am not afraid. And I know that I have all of you sending me love as I go through it. So go, oh, seven, Kelly. Oh my God. That is so, so beautiful. I've actually got my seven-year-old self. I carry my seven-year-old self around quite a lot. This is me when I was seven. I'm that one there. And I only saw this picture a few months ago for the first time. So all parts of us, there's so many parts of us. And don't worry, there are parts of us still stuck in the past. That's okay. This is what this work is about. This is what your life is about, to bring part the parts of you home. And it's not, you aren't meant to go out and try and do it all at once. So, you know, where you are right now, who you are right now, was ready to come home. So that's who was meant to come home. I'll be back next Sunday for another incredible session. I hope you do join me and I send you so, so much love. Mwah. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. God bless you all and bye for now. Okay, bye. Thank you, guys. So this will be up on rec uh, the recording. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. I can just see these comments are so lovely. Thank you, guys, so much. This is the Circle of Light, Bernadette Petrie, over and out. Bye. The Circle of Light. The Circle of Light is you and me. It's where we can feel safe to be. The shame, the shadows can fall away. We question our thoughts, we change the way. When we change the way we see the world, we change the way we are.